Do you need an unusual holiday dessert? A miniature treat to amaze your friends with? Or a giant candy to feed a lot of guests? Learn creative Easter treat recipes in our new video! Our girls are bored! Nothing can cheer them up! Jessica suggests some fun options! How about dancing? Or watching a movie? But Dolly says no to everything! What should we do? Then Blondie appears on the stage! She knows how to cheer this boring audience up! She treats the girls with a teeny sweet Easter basket! Cut the ring off a waffle bowl! Cut a little part out of it! This is the basket handle! Melt dark and white chocolate together! Stir it! Add a drop of melted chocolate onto parchment paper! Place the waffle bowl on top and completely cover it with melted chocolate! Attach the waffle handle! Coat it with chocolate and decorate it with a sugar butterfly! Put in colorful glazed peanuts as eggs! Jessica grabs the basket right away! This Easter accessory is adorable! Jessica finishes the whole basket in seconds! Now that's real fast food! Dolly is disappointed because she didn't get anything! But Blondie immediately fixes the situation! She gives her a whole crate of carrots! Cut wooden coffee stirrers! Make a small wooden crate out of them! Use hot glue! Microwave toffees with orange food coloring for 20 seconds! Shape a carrot! Use a toothpick to make the pattern! And a hollow for the stem! Cut a stem out of a green chewy candy and put it in. Place the carrots into the crate. These carrots are so nice! Jessica wants to try one too! Fine! I'll share with my friend! It turned out so sweet that the girl's sadness vanished into thin air! And they are ready to invent new Easter recipes! The girls are discussing the candy recipes they can make for Easter. A flowery idea hits Dolly. She's running around the kitchen and cooking up a masterpiece. Finally, it's all done. Dolly presents her sweet flower bed. Cut a piece off a styrofoam ball. Coat it with green acrylic paint. Squish mini marshmallows with your fingers and cut out a flower. Attach a sprinkle to the center of the flower. Use edible glue. Dissolve green food coloring in water. Color toothpicks with it. Dampen them with a wipe and put on the sweet flowers. Plant the marshmallow flowers onto the styrofoam meadow. Wow! Dolly made an Easter flower bed in the kitchen! And the flowers turned out to be so tasty! Jessica tastes one daisy! And Dolly finishes the entire bouquet! The girls go Easter hunting! Because an Easter bunny dropped in on them! It looks like its candy muzzle is stuck in the grass! Ha! Got you! Melt white chocolate! Add green food coloring and pour it into a silicone cupcake mold. Spread the chocolate over the sides of the mold using a brush. Make it look like grass. Let it harden. Microwave marshmallows and shredded coconut for 30 seconds. Stir the mixture. Shape a semisphere. Place it on parchment paper and coat it with melted white chocolate. Sprinkle it with coconut. Make a marshmallow tail. Dip it into melted chocolate and cover it with coconut. Attach it to the main piece with chocolate. Add marshmallow bunny paws. Paint the paw pads with pink food coloring. Put the bunny onto the chocolate grass base. The girls caught the white bunny! 
What a cute fluffy tail! And pink paws! Dolly loves the fuzzy guest so much that she eats half of it! That won't do! You have to share with Jessica! So Dolly uses Easter magic! Whip 10 and a half ounces of confectionery cream. Put in 3 and a half ounces of powdered sugar and 7 ounces of shredded coconut. Pour in 1 ounce of gelatin dissolved in water. Stir it and put in 17 ounces of breakfast cereal. Cover a semi-sphere shaped bowl with plastic wrap. Put the sweet mass into it. Cover it with plastic wrap. Refrigerate it for three hours. Turn over the hardened mold onto a plate. Remove the wrap. Cut a ready cupcake into two parts and put them as paws. Make a tail out of a little cupcake. Coat the entire cake with whipped cream. Sprinkle shredded coconut on top. Attach pink fondant pads to the paws. Cut a strip of green paper to be grass. Wrap it around the plate. The bunny grew right in front of our eyes. What a sweet catch! The girls are gladly eating the Easter cake. Mmm, how delicious! The friends got so carried away that there is only one paw left from the poor Easter bunny. Jessica wants to keep experimenting with giant food and turns a little paw into a giant one. Whip 9 ounces of powdered sugar and 3 eggs. Separately mix 7 ounces of melted butter with 9 ounces of liquid honey. Pour the mixture into the eggs and keep whipping. Add 1 teaspoon of ground ginger and baking powder. Gradually add 28 ounces of flour. Cover the dough with plastic wrap. Refrigerate it for an hour. Roll out the ready dough on a silicone mat. Cut out a big bunny paw. Separately cut out paw pads. Bake the gingerbread for 20 minutes at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. For the glaze, mix 5 ounces of powdered sugar with 1 egg white. And add a half a teaspoon of citric acid. Whip it! Add pink food coloring to a part of the icing. Apply the pink glaze to the paw pads and coat the paw with white glaze. Attach pink details on top. A giant bunny left this paw print. Jessica is crunching on the gingerbread bunny paw. And Dolly is already full. Still, the paw is amazing. Dolly is telling her friend that she's a die-hard unicorn fan. She wishes she could meet at least one. Oh, I would be so happy! Then Jessica decides to make a gift for her friend. And here is Unicorn! She comes with a present. It's a little Easter treat! Crumble sponge cakes. Make mini egg-shaped cake pops. Dip a toothpick into melted chocolate and stick it into the egg. Refrigerate the cake pops for 20 minutes. Dip the cooled cake pops into melted chocolate. Make a pattern on the hardened egg with chocolate glaze of a different color. Make cake pops of two colors. Stick them into a ready muffin. Unicorn takes one cake pop for herself. Let's fix the size. Excellent! And now Unicorn has to go. Jessica made something great. Pay attention, a treat is coming. Oh, why is there such a teeny nest on such a huge plate? Cut brown licorice. Take out the filling. Cut it into thin strips. Twist the strips to shape a nest. Cut off the excess. Shape the filling into little eggs. Put them into the nest. Dolly can't figure out what the point of this sweet miniature is. You think too much, friend. Jessica swallows the whole nest in a glimpse of an eye. What an amazing dessert! Dolly decides to try on an Easter Bunny look while no one sees her. And here is a big colorful egg. 
Crumble four and a half pounds of cookies in a blender. Add 14 ounces of whipped cream and seven ounces of caramel topping. Thoroughly mix it. Shape a big egg. Cool it down in a fridge. Cover the egg with strips of colored fondant. Create an Easter pattern. Dolly eats the giant candy. This bunny found a perfect place to hide the Easter egg. It's in her tummy! Did you like our Easter treats? Then write in the comments which candy you would make for Easter. A giant one or a miniature one? And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new holiday recipes on Troom Troom.